Hello Virgo, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you Virgo. I want to look at your uh, tarot scopes for the month of December. December Virgo. So this is for your sun sign, rising sign, or if your moon is in Virgo, please join me. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, if uh, if it resonates, I'm, I'm pleased uh, to help. But otherwise, uh, you know, maybe this reading isn't for you. You can come back to it later and you might find more in it, Virgo. Let's take a, a look at what's happening. I'm using in December for you, I'm using my Elemental Oracle. I'm using then the Creativity Oracle and then finally the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. All right, let's get started, Virgo, for the month of December. What is coming for Virgo in the month of December? Virgo, month of December. Okay, sun is shining on two people. Uh, this is, you know, a little bit of romance, a little bit of togetherness, so, you know, a little bit of spending time with someone you love. Um, that's... Uh, I get that a lot for December. A lot of the signs are getting that kind of energy because, of course, we've got um, Christmas coming up. Now we have inner core, inner core. Um, that's beautiful. There looks like there that could be a dove um, finding the peace within. That's very much a serenity type of vibe. I was pulling uh, life's breath. Yeah, finding the inner solidness. Um, helps so not being so fragmented it is a time to slow down in december as well you can't kind of have that inner solidness that inner peace if you're going at 100 miles an hour virgo it really is time to just step back a bit and take a bit of a breather literally hearth and hearth and home comfort exactly this is the vibe this is what you're vibing in december virgo and if you're not that's what you should be striving for we've got south adventure <laughs> some of you might even travel to see family uh during the break um and magic finding the magic it is it is beautiful really uh this energy that i'm tapping into um Mystery and dark matter, that's interesting because that is how we create. I mean, dark matter is, is something that isn't in to form yet, uh, but something that is birthing nevertheless. We don't know what that is, uh, hence it's a mystery. Um, but you're creating something in December for the future. On that note, let's pick a creativity card for you, Virgo. This is the Creativity Oracle by Amy Zerner and Monty Faber. All right, let's have a look. Virgo for the month of December. This is such a solid, solid deck. Virgo for the month of November. Show me the message for the Creativity message for Virgo for the month of December. Wow, <laughs> originality. Uh, feel lighthearted and free while trusting that your unique way of doing things is the right way. You know, this is a very lighthearted energy. Very light. You know, I just feel a good vibe for you, Virgo. Originality. Feel lighthearted and free. Express yourself. You know, move into that strong part that you know that you i mean you don't think of virgo as the life of the party but hey guess what they can be when they're because of that originality um they can be mercurial absolutely they can uh and so this is expressing expressing but of course you can't do that if you're way down with burdens which you know can happen with virgo they're always on the go. They, you know, they need to stop. They need to relax and feel into that light-hearted vibe that often comes with the festive season. Mm, I'm excited for you. I'm feeling the vibe right now, Virgo. So if you're not feeling it, try and create it. And how are you going to do that? You're going to do that by finding or expressing the original you the original there's only one think of vinyl records there's only one of you virgo 
All right, so let's have a look at the Chakra Tarot for Virgo. Let's give it a good shuffle. It's quite an interesting deck because I'm Reiki trained and so I understand the Chakra energies, which is why I bought this deck. So it's a little bit different from the, the Tarot. Uh, it gives a, another perspective. All right, Virgo. What's happening for Virgo? What's happening for Virgo in December, Virgo? Oh, a rose. Yeah, that's definitely romance for some. And if it's not romance, it's friends paying you compliments. It's friends coming around with gifts. It's, you know, relatives. It's, it's like feeling really good. Um, so we have the Eight of Swords. So you may have been quite worried. Again, base chakra. You could have been worried about certain things, but we become like that because you can step out of that. You're just looking in the mirror and seeing your own anxiety, really. Whereas this person uh, outside of the mirror hasn't isn't anxious at all. So it's time to understand that the worries are coming from your own insecurities they're not necessarily they're not necessarily real mm, the five of swords yeah this is so, kind of like self-sabotage and it could be the way you're viewing someone else um maybe because you need to express yourself more express that original you it's like a tonic that you need you could be feeling dragged down by other people around you uh, you're not being uh, you're not being that original you um, and it's you know I don't want to say go out and party Virgo but it is time to do you know sip pina coladas make yourself a cocktail you know go and sit by the beach and you know have some whiskey in your cocoa or your coffee or whatever uh, it's time to sit back and vibe really get into the vibe Queen of Swords, um, Virgo, uh, of course, is ruled by Mercury. I've never really understood that uh, in astrology um, because Mercury is the planet of communications. Uh, and it's very much with Virgo. They, um, they, can, they do a lot of planning. They, they are right down in the detail. Um, and they, even they're, though they are mutable, meaning they go with the flow, they can often know where to go. That's the thing with mutable signs because they're able to flow into areas that other people haven't seen yet. Um, very strong. There's something strong, planning, planning for the future perhaps. The Four of Cups, you could have been disappointed in love in the past, but somebody's offering you roses, so we'll see. Ten of Cups, absolutely, which is crowning this reading. It's like, you know, when it's there's a sublimeness to love, uh, particularly family, the love of family, uh, which is what the Ten of Cups is. It's unconditional love. Let's see what's coming up. Four of Wands, reunification, perhaps with somebody that disappointed you or has disappointed you. This is all about family. Again, it's kind of like the cards that I drew to begin with. Two of Coins at the moment, uh, this is around expressing yourself, walking a tightrope, um, not feeling free, Virgo, in some way. Maybe you're working too hard. The moon card, things need to, it's like you've got to have a purge, a bit of a purge of emotions. It's things coming to the surface associated with the throat chakra here in this card. Talking it out, expressing yourself, expressing yourself. Okay, being a bit flamboyant. Five of Cups, yeah. There's been disappointment. You don't want to be let down again in the future. You might be walking on eggshells a bit emotionally. But here we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups. Not the King of Pentacles. The King of Hearts. That's you, Virgo. Justice. Justice, balance, Libra energy. Something coming to you which replenishes you emotionally, which may have been taken away from you in the past. The Nine of Wands, we have here Sagittarian energy, but.
but this is around expression maybe moving into your own power your own dominion sometimes this is also putting boundaries up if you're being drained by people i think we'll pull one more the world yeah endings and beginnings here new beginnings i think in romance and love of course there's this is all the chakras with the world card it's like you gain some kind of equilibrium here i've got to pull one more the emperor control okay so stepping back into your own power is very much a theme you could have been wounded in battle wounded in battle you could have stepped back and retreated it's not the time for that uh, temperance and moderation and the sun happiness you know what you've got to do to achieve that I see ace of swords so there's some new start here for you some old cycle a lot a lot of the, the signs but for you virgo uh things are this old cycles ending and new cycles beginning and i'm seeing that here and a renewal in your closest relationships all right i'll leave that there virgo thank you for tuning in bye for now